In the previous video, we showed how to build mixed solvent systems, which have many copies of small molecules. Because we needed many small molecules, we chose the solvent component type, as this reduces the time spent packing molecules. However, it also prevents specifying an exact number of molecules. If we instead have a small number of many different small molecules, we can use the solvated component type to generate an exact number of each molecule. In this demo, we will add several potential pharmacophore ligands to PDBID 6WFN, which is an acetyltransferase enzyme with a bound acetyl-CoA cofactor and inhibitor molecule. The extra ligands we will use are ethanol, acetamide, phenoxide, toluene, and succinamide. We will also add more copies of acetyl-CoA and the inhibitor molecule included in the PDB structure. To begin, we will first obtain CHARM, PSF, and CRD files for each structure contained within PDB 6WFN. Go to PDB Reader, type 6WFN, and click Next. We could choose to start our simulation without any inhibitor or cofactor bound to the protein, but in this case we will select both heterogens to include them in their bound state. Neither acetyl-CoA nor the inhibitor are in the default charm force field, so we will use CGenFF to generate their topologies and parameters and click Next to obtain the PSF and CRD. When we click View Structure, we see that the protonated acetyl-CoA and inhibitor structures are included in the structure we will download. After downloading and extracting the project, make sure to rename the PSF and CRD files to something unique. Make sure to also keep the topology and parameter files generated for the two ligands. Next we will re-upload the charm PDB file to PDB Reader to obtain the ligand structures individually. We'll start with acetyl-CoA. Upload step 1 pdbreader.pdb and choose the charm format since PDB Reader does not use the RCSB format when writing PDB files. We only want the acetyl CoA structure, so deselect protein and select ACO. On the next page, we will upload the topology and parameters already produced by CGenFF to ensure that the residue and atom names are unchanged. Click Next to obtain the isolated acetyl CoA structure. On the next page, download the project and rename the PSF and CRD to something unique. Repeat the same procedure to obtain the isolated inhibitor structure. Next we will obtain the alternative ligand structures. We already produced ethanol PSF and CRD in the previous video, so we'll start with acetamide, whose SMILES code is shown in its Wikipedia entry. Go to Ligand Reader and Modeler, and paste the SMILES code for acetamide, then click Next. Acetamide exists in the CHARM force field, and we will use the version from its CGenFF entry. Click Next to generate the structure. Download the project files and rename the PSF and CRD to something unique. The next ligand is phenoxide. We can draw the related structure for phenol in Ligand Reader and Modeler using the predefined benzene sequence and adding an oxygen atom. On the next page, we see that phenoxide is included in the charm force field as the residue PHEO. We select it and click Next to obtain the PSF and CRD.
we can obtain the PSF and CRD for toluene in a similar manner. Use the predefined benzene sequence, add a carbon atom, and add hydrogen atoms. Again, toluene exists in the charm force field as residue TOLU. We obtain its PSF and CRD as before. For succinamide, we can enter the SMILES code shown on its Wikipedia entry. This time, the molecule is not present in the charm force field, so we should parameterize it with Cgen FF. Note that if you have more than one custom ligand, you should ensure that their residue names are unique. We can now upload all PSF and CRD files to Multi-Component Assembler. Make sure to include the topology and parameters for succinamide, acetyl-CoA, and the inhibitor molecule. Because we are specifying the exact number of every uploaded molecule, we leave all component types as their default value of solvated. To achieve a 0.2 molar concentration of each small ligand molecule, we use a cube length of 53.06 angstrom, and 18 copies of each. We'll use 3 of each large ligand, and 1 copy of the protein. When we calculate the system size, we see that the estimated total volume fraction is 22.5%. Click Next to begin packing the components. For a box of this size and volume fraction, it will take about 5 minutes to finish packing. If packing succeeded, click View Structure to ensure that the result looks reasonable. The remaining system building steps are the same as what was shown previously.